so smooth, so smooth. All right, all right. It's the Monday thriller. The plan? Let's run it up. Two kings here. I think we're going to be all in. No matter what happens, basically, we're going to be all in here pre-flop. Unless something very strange happens where there are, like, limps or something. We're going to be all in. We don't cover anybody, so there'll be no bounties to be won this hand. But hopefully we'll be on our way to winning bounties if we can win this hand. Pretty good spot for us here. Two short stacks that are very likely to raise an attack. I'm going to just move all in here if he folds. There's really no reason to make an in intermediate raise size. I would shove here with all my weak hands like deuces and ace four and king jack. So if he has a hand like two sixes, he's not going to fold. If he has king queen, he's not going to fold. If he has ace jack, he's not going to fold. He just has nothing though, but I'll take the money. If it folds to us here, I think I have to shove. I mean, I don't have to do anything, but I think I'm going to shove. I mean, I could raise and then fold. With a thousand in the pot right now, two guys that are shortish stacks, us having an ace. I think we can just rip this hand and feel pretty good about it. I mean, I don't love this spot, of course, but I think this is a good enough hand for us to say, I'm all in. And look, we've now chipped our way back to 6,000. Didn't have to have any big, crazy, wacky, wild all in. We just slowly grind it up there. Queen Jack offsuit. Do we shove this hand with a little bit less big blinds? But I wonder if we have enough chips that I can now raise and fold. I don't think we do. I think I'm still short stacked enough that I'd rather just shove. I mean, I'm not thrilled about it, but I think with 14 blinds, it's okay. It just might be okay, just like Lupe is saying. It just might be okay, after all. I forgot that I lowered the music in a moment of decision before. Wow. Am I going to just shove three hands in a row? I could. I could easily just shove this hand as well. I just shoved the last two. All right. Let's go for, let's go for the trifecta. I'm just going to keep shoving. I actually now cover three of the players behind us. Two of the players to our right as well. I mean, we could get some curious calls at this point. I mean... And I actually went from having two, this is the best hand that I've shoved yet. If I hadn't just shoved the last two hands, if I somehow had the stack without shoving, I probably would have been more inclined to just raise this hand. But because I just shoved the last two hands, I'm trying to be consistent. So I made, I made the same action with three hands of all very different hand strengths. Well, you know, ace five and queen jack are kind of in the same tier of like good but not great. Then ace queen is more towards the great side, given our stack size. And look at that, we are now above starting stack. We've grinded our way back to 20 big blinds and above starting stack. Into the big blind we go with two very reasonable cards. Against a lot of short stacks here. I'm looking to call the spot, unless something strange happens. I'm very happy to call. 420 to win 1870? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Getting four and a half to one with two very beautiful high cards. Let's make some pairs and then check raise all in. Well, we've done the first part of that. I guess now we just check raise all in as promised. I mean, you could have aces, you could have kings, you could have ace queen, could have king queen, could have nine nine. But you know, he's got two and a half times the pot left. I mean, we're not looking to fold. Right? Let's just double check that in the brain. Wow. Checks back, turns the club. Big club, too. I mean, not the club. The club is not what I'm worried about. Ace is obviously much more worrisome. He could just have tens or eights, though, and check back, give up here on this flop. Wow. <laughs> I mean, these are not the best turn to river cards I've ever seen in my life, but. Maybe if he just has like tens, we'll just win. Nice. What did you have? Not the best pocket tens player in the world, I'm afraid. He did have a club draw as well. Pretty good hand here. Pretty good hand here for us. Am I going to open shove or min raise? We have 13 and a half big blinds. Well, now it's even easier. Now we just say, I'm all in. I'm all in. And the good news is, well, the good news is we're going to either be getting it in good or have 9,000. So, 
I have been pretty aggressive with reshoving and things pre-flop, so with the bounty, it wouldn't have shocked me for him to say, I'm, I'm ready to battle. Didn't happen that time, though. Still in it to win it. Average stack, 12,000 chips. Our graph is, um, we're doing okay. We're still under the radar, hanging out in the basement. We tried to crawl up to average. We were like, we're like waving at average from like, you know, barely under it, but we're on our way. King 10. Nobody is all that short stacked. I'd like to play this hand either against a small raise or a very late position action. If it falls to the button and he shoves, man, this is a tough spot against the button shove. Because if my hand was just a little stronger, I would definitely call. I don't think anybody, I don't think Jay Lee is going to open shove here. Raising is totally cool. So we're going to start here with a call, try to flop some pairs, and then hopefully check raise all in. This time I missed up the first part of the plan, of the make a, player, a pair plan. Though I will point out, this is actually kind of a scary flop. Like, I could definitely arguably just bet out here, right? Like, ace eight might just fold. Hmm, my tank check might have bought us a chance to win this card, win this hand here. I'm going to bet here on the turn. I'm not going to bet much because I'm trying to tell a story of a kid that has a hand that connects with this board. And if I really do connect, I wouldn't bet a ton. All right. Five figures, Mirko, we did it! Mirko's like, nice bluff, kid. Nice bluff, kid. That's how we do. Give me that five-figure stack here. Ace track offsuit now. If it gets to Jay Lee, like even if this guy raises, cause this guy seems like, okay. We're now at the point where we're against the stealing hands. So these are the steal positions. And we have ace jack offsuit. There's 2.3k in the middle right now. So about a quarter of our stack is out in the middle right now. I'm not going to mess around and just call out of the small blind here. I'm going to just say, I'm all in. I think ace jack is in first place. I'm not going to mess around. It's possible that he has a better hand than me or a pair. But I think this is a fine spot for us to just say, I'm all in. Oh no, we are behind. We got to find a jack. Mm, that's not a good start to this cause. Got to find a king. Oh, we did it. Wow. And we didn't even get the bounty. Damn. Unlucky. <laughs> Damn. I mean, that's pretty unfortunate for, uh, that's pretty unfortunate for our a friend slash opponent over there. I guess I'm going to race here with the deuces. I guess I actually have a stack where I can get away from this hand. I, I mean, I will, obviously, against any of the big stacks, but, I mean, this is an interesting hand. I could arguably just fold this, but I ain't no bitch. Got to call a thousand here to win four thousand with a suited ace, so I'm not going anywhere. We also cover our opponent, so if we do happen to win this hand and bust him, we'll get some moolah out of it as well. So a little too weak for us to shove pre. Happy to call though. Queen of Hearts look kind of nice. The other two did not look as nice. We're gonna check here on the flop. If our opponent bets, we're gonna just fold. Um, though there is a chance my opponent's going to check and give us a chance to win this pot. Eight on the turn is kind of interesting. I actually feel like if the turn was a 7, I would have bet, but on an 8, I'm okay with just checking. If he has ace-king, he has 7 outs. Checks back to a queen. He could still have 10s or 9s, but if he has ace-king, he might be able to find a hero call here, or if he has a hand like two sevens, like, I think there's a good chance, hmm. Well, that's annoying. Alright, we're gonna be all in here. Under the gun raising, but you know, we got ace king suited. What can I do? I say I'm all in. I'm all in. Let's try to win this end. What you got, Mr. Batar? Hope he has ace queen. Uh, looks like he doesn't have anything super strong, so it lo looks like we're going to be in worst case scenario flipping a coin. Unless he's high fiving all his Brazilian buddies before he clicks call. What you going to do? All right, get a little bit of healing back there for that one. One, two, three, four, five players behind us. One player very short stacked. I think I just open shove here for my last 17 big blinds. Instead of getting into a situation where we raise, we get reshoved on, don't know what to do, probably fold. I think it's better for us just to shove. Also, there's a chance that hands like queen jack and king queen will just fold instead of reshoving on us. Like if you're a Calcasus. I think that you would seriously consider just folding King Jack suited versus uh, reshoving. Uh, if we raise, I'm saying, 
King Queen, I think, looks down at King Queen and goes, okay, probably not, and just folds. If we shove, if we make a small raise, I think King Queen says, all right, he could fold, I'm all in, and we could have folded. So instead I just say, my two fives are probably in first place right now, I'm all in. And there you go. All right, pretty good hand here for us. Seems like a good spot for us to raise. And I guess we're gonna just hold on. We're gonna just hold on to the honeys, I suppose. That is the plan. Once again, raising Kamal's big blind. The last time we had Queen Jack, this time we are a little bit stronger. Still have yet to take a knockout this tournament. This would be a good time for us to do that. Although we don't really cover anybody besides the big blind left over. And what you got over there? You got something good? Zuxi? Damn, he does. He must have aces. That sucks. Uh, man. I mean, I could just call. He must have aces, dude. He makes the small re-raise pre-flop. This is not a move that... This is... I guess it's 2015, man. He could just have tens. Tanks, he just raises. He just has tens. No. I don't think so. This is an aces and kings move. I mean... He's playing two tables. All right, I'm just going to call this hand. I think most players just go broke here pre-flop, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to try to see a safe flop and then go from there. All right. If he has aces or kings, I say, nice hand, dude. If you've got me beat, you got me beat. You got two nines, you got two kings, you got two aces, you win. If he checks, it's, I'll be more perplexed, but... We're just going to raise all in here, dude. He could just have jacks or tens. He could be just fucking messing around. And he could have ace-king. I doubt it. I feel like he has aces or kings, but I've given him every opportunity to have something worse by all my calling. So I say, I'm all in. Wow. Wow. I guess, uh, I, guess I got another 3,500 out of him by playing the hand the way that I did. I mean, unless he had, like, ace-queen and would have called the shove, but obviously folds to the uh, check-raise alone on the flop. But if he has ace-king, I love how I played the hand against ace-king. You know, I don't really want to risk a whole flip, but I'm totally cool with seeing a flop and then seeing no ace, no king, check-raising all in. Against the min-raise here from a good player, I'm pretty cool with calling. Obviously, uh, folding is fine, but we're getting a really good price with a hand that is not bad. I think this is actually not a bad spot for us to try betting out here. I mean, I don't really want to play a huge pot right now with him, but our hand is pretty strong. I mean, we have a three straight top pair, three flush, top two pair now. I think if he had flush draws, we would have heard about it on the flop. So I think he has a lot of like 10x over pairs, maybe, maybe like ace five, stuff like that. I think I actually should kind of go for a bigger bet here. I decided to go for a really big bet here on the turn. Because I feel like if he has just a hand like Queen-10 or something... Wow. Weird spot. Weird spot here. Maybe he has a set. I don't think we can do anything besides shove, though. I mean... What does he have, like, aces with the ace of hearts? Does he have a hand like... Queen-10? I mean, I think I have the best hand. Alright. I guess that's why you defend with the 10-6 offsuit, right? Sometimes you just make it happen. Okay, we're going to try to make it happen here at the Ace King. We are the table chip leader now. Now look at those juicy big bounties. Look at those juicy bounties over there. All right, I'm just going to call here in the small blind. I could re-raise, but I want to give the big blind a chance to make some mistakes. And uh, I don't mind playing out of position with Ace King against my Brazilian friend. And if it goes shove, reshove, we just say call, and then hopefully win. Amazing spot for us here. I'm just going to start here with a check. 
My intention is to put in a small check raise here if he bets. Just a, a tiny little teaser of a check raise. Just a little, uh, he bets 4,000. I'm going to make it 94.20. And obviously we're going to call a shove. If he flat calls, I would be a little worried that he might have diamonds or something, but there's already going to be 30,000 in the pot if he calls, so we wouldn't be able to fold on any turn card because he could always just have like ace 10. So I, I can't fold on any turn card. All right, not a bad little uh, chipping up here these last couple hands. That's why I like playing out of my blinds. We're just getting in there and brawling. Queen, ten, queen nine of hearts here. We're in 60th place, by the way, after those little hands. Hmm, can I get away with calling here? Two short stacks behind us. We do cover this guy, and he's got a huge bounty. Huge bounty. All right, let's call. I wasn't going to call until I realized just how good our implied odds here are here. And by implied odds, I mean, like, if we hit our hand, not only do we win chips, but we also have a good shot of winning his enormous freaking bounty. Enormous bounty. I don't think he's check folding here in this spot, though. I mean, I know he's checked to us, and so betting can't be bad. Um, but I have a feeling he's looking for revenge, perhaps, in this pot. I'm only going to make a small bet. Just take a small stab here on this flop. In case he just has a hand like King Jack or Jack-10 and just wants to let us have this one right now. Wow, what a turn card for us. What a turn card for us. I wonder what he has. Does he just have like Ace High? He might just be getting stubborn with like an Ace High kind of a hand. I think I like making another big bet here on the turn. I mean, we're effectively threatening his whole stack by betting this much. And if he shoves, we have to call it off at this point, of course. We have to call if he shoves. With the bounty on the line, plus how good our hand is generally with an open-ended straight flush draw. All right. Made it happen, my friends. Making it happen, hand after hand. Do seven. I say my work here is done. I can do no more. I can only do what you give me, Poker Stars. 10 6 offsuit or better. Uh, Ace Jack offsuit here. Seems like a decent spot for us to raise. I'd obviously call a shove from Take Your Rent Money, who seems like uh, he should deserve a uh, little rumbler tag. Damn, we're getting reshoved on, huh? Oh, man. Tough spot. Tough spot here. 296 left. That doesn't really matter. He's got a huge bounty on his head. Could just have a small pair. Could have a hand like Jax. I mean, does he shove Ace-4 suited here? Does he shove King Jack suited and Jack-10 suited? He's shoving for over 20 big blinds. This might be the worst hand that I call with. Because if we call and lose, we'll still have 22,000 and a dream. I mean, I've been, act I've been opening a decent amount of hands. I think I'm going to call this. I just feel like he could have Ace-10 or Jack-10 or Ace-4 or King-Queen or two fours. Plus with that huge bounty on him, we're looking to gamble, I think. All right, what you got, dude? Flipping a coin. Come on, let's hold the baby. All right. Mirko knew we were going to win. That's right. Take that first blood. First blood. Look at that. Two face cards. I think it's a queen jacker. Pretty sure that's a queen jacker, but I'm definitely going to raise. Can I do it without looking? No, I have to look. All right. All right, we're doing it. Six-figure stack, huh? Six-figure stack, huh? And we just made a little five hundo from knocking out our friend over there. Let's see if the... Uh... Damn, didn't I just have to fold Queen Jack to him not so long ago? Getting 1.25 to 1. A little too weak to call. Again, very similar to the spot we had against him earlier. I wish I had Ace Jack here. I would call Ace Jack here too. All right, so we got 100,000 chips and a dream. Now, I know how aggressive Just Click the Button is. I know how he's super aggressive. I'm just going to call with my Ace-6 offsuit. We have, we're super deep stacked here. 
We flop a six. I feel like I like the idea of betting here on the flop. I'm not going to bet a ton, though. I mean, he's not going to fold. He's never folding a better hand than me. Uh, but he definitely can call me with worse. That is a great turn card for us here. Now we've made two per. And I feel like he knows that I know that he knows that if anyone's going to bluff at the ace, it's going to be me. So I feel like he will stop, probably still call if he has a hand like 4-5, 6-7, 6-5, 8-7, even the hand like king five or something like that might still call again. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to let it time down, and then I'm going to bet. I think I like betting. I think I like betting 12,420. I feel like this is a good bet size. I do think he might have improved on that king. If he shoves on the river, we're just going to fold. It would be a sick move to make if he didn't have uh, a straight. Um, which is unlikely that uh, he's going to do that, but it would be a sick move if he shoved and didn't have it. But my plan would be to fold if he shoves. But I think if he has a hand like a single eight or a hand like king seven or king five, I don't think he's ever folding a king as played. I feel like he has a hand like six seven or six five, maybe eight seven. I tried to bet a little bit bigger here because I th think that he'll read this as bluffy. Uh, if I had went a little bit smaller, I think he would have been more likely to find a fold with a single pair. Okay, still took down the pot. I like how he played it. We just limped preflop, you know, playing kind of very defensively. You know, just keeping our guard up, putting pressure on. Didn't get paid on that river, though. Just hit the button, made a good fold. But uh, we won the money. So there you go. All right, good news, everyone. We're in the money. Second WCoop cash of the series.